Welcome to another technical corner. Today we're again here with Rodney from Langley Alloys. Welcome, Rodney. Thank you. Um, and we talked about Freilium 255, the first super duplex ever designed and developed by Langley Alloys. Actually, the first super duplex in the world. This isn't Freilium, this is another super duplex. What are we talking about today? We're sort of talking about the competition. Well, if you want to talk about the competition, that's totally up to you, Rodney. You're the one who's brought it here. Um, what is it? There's a nice historical story here. So, um, I will talk over and over about how amazing Feralium is, but like with any good product, people will develop alternatives over time. Um, and one of those facts that may be lost on a lot of people is that 32760, very popular grade, was the second super duplex grade developed. And it was actually developed in the UK as well. So at some point in the 70s and the 80s, you had two UK companies sort of battling it out. Fighting on the world stage. King, king of the duplex. But yeah. that was probably a very healthy uh, position in terms of getting the grade established and making people aware of its properties uh, and its cost effectiveness. You had two companies pushing for, for sort of supremacy in a way, which one was better, but that was also being pushed into the market and into customers. So I think it was actually quite a bit of healthy competition and certainly led to these alloys, this really interesting family of super duplex grades becoming so well established. And when yourselves and this competitor were fighting it out on the, on the battlegrounds in the 80s, what were you claiming, what, what were the differences between the materials? The differences are small, relatively subtle. I'd still argue the case that Feralium's the higher strength uh, alloy, which will have its advantages for designers. In terms of what's actually in it, Feralium's got a bit more copper, which is useful for acid resistance but 32760 has a bit less copper and they're using tungsten instead, which there's various papers and articles say that will also help the corrosion resistance. So you pick an expert and you ask them their opinion and they'll probably be slightly different depending on which business they're representing. It's a bit like my nan's red velvet cake versus your nan's red velvet cake. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's why then they weren't the only two super duplex products on the market now. Another one was developed subsequently, 32750. So you've now got three main super duplex grades available and we stop them all in a way we cover the bases rather than just fixating on the one that we develop yeah and because of its properties it's used in a lot of applications if you want to know more about super duplex its exact kind of material characteristics machinability make sure you check out the feralium 255 video we covered we talk about really in depth about super duplexes as a whole yeah um but because of those properties um you can probably give a little summary what you brought some fasteners here some small diameter parts i mean what, what are the applications of this grade so uh without going over too much old ground in a way it's a, a grade that's based on a 25 percent chrome content that gives it great corrosion resistance um, the combination of two different types of microstructure is why it's called duplex or super duplex and that gives it great strength and great mechanical properties and then in terms of its composition it's carefully controlled to achieve those properties without actually introducing too much cost so you've got good strength good corrosion resistance good cost competitiveness and so it will be used for lots and lots and lots of applications. We stock this grade from sort of half inch, very, very small bars up to 16 inch, which is you know, a reasonable practical limit for uh, producing this sort of grade. And so you can imagine the applications are as wide and varied as they are for Feralium. However, for whatever reason, it's become a really common, almost like a default selection for the production of fasteners, which is why we've got all of these small bars scattered around the table. Yep, you've got these, 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 these could be like off cuts from a, from a sliding head sharp or from, you've brought them, you've brought them over, uh, you snuck them outside of, out of Langley Alloy's warehouse to come show us um, what, the, what the fastener kind of diameter might look like. Um, but when you're making a fastener, um, there's a few different ways to make it, I guess. You can machine it down from a raw billet. There's other ways to manufacture it as well to save material. I'll be doing a disservice to the fastener guys to talk about all the different shapes and sizes and designs, but you can imagine small diameter bars will be machined on a sliding head into small components or thread rolled to put uh, a long thread along a, a length of bar. You will then have the larger diameter bars will be machined to form the nuts. If you've got uh, a fastener with a large head on it, maybe it will be forged so you're not wasting lots of material. You're keeping the original diameter for the, 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 the sort of shaft of the bolt, but you're upset forging to form that head more cost effectively. And by forging it, you retain the good physical and mechanical properties uh, of the alloy. So there's lots of slightly different ways of, of making them, but it's such a big market. If you think about all of the bits of equipment that were bolted and joined and fastened, 
that are being used in a, an aggressive, corrosive environment where you need the inherently high strength of the grade as well. So it's a really comfortable, logical uh, application for super duplex grades. Uh, and for 32760, it fits perfectly. And as a stockist of, of the three main super duplex grades, you don't just have a little bit of each, though. You've still got a lot in stock of 32760. Absolutely. We've got hundreds of tons of this stuff. We've got it in the UK. We've also got it in the US warehouse from half inch to 16 inch. I think there's something like 40 different sizes of product available ex stock. So if you're a fastener manufacturer or you just need 32760 for any other application, there's a huge amount uh, available from Langley Alloys right now.